Welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at Nintendo's strongest character in their universe with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I have always seen Kirby as a fun, easy game that you can play for with sheer joy. The gameplay is usually a tried and tested 2D goodness from some of the best games on the 3DS, like my favorite insane 2D side-scroller, Kirby Planet Robobot. I felt that that was the one to beat so far in terms of gameplay, action, visuals that was jam-packed into one adventure for Kirby. Kirby and the Forgotten Land is developed by HAL Laboratory and to be released by Nintendo in 2020. Moving away from the 2D formula comes a 3D version of Kirby with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Just recently, Nintendo released a demo for the game about a month before release and I can honestly say it is just as fun and addicting as its 2D counterparts. Although you can move Kirby with full 3D gameplay, the camera doesn't really move at all and you still travel from point A to point B. There isn't too much exploration here, at least in the demo that my son and I played. The new gimmick here is that Kirby can now use his power to inhale large objects around him and in turn controls with extra powers that can help in solving puzzles and beat enemies with this mode called the Mouthful Mode. At the end of the demo, there's a bit of a movie trailer that also shows what Kirby can do in the mouthful mode, and I myself want to try even the roller coaster. The demo spans two stages and one main stage boss. These stages let Kirby experiment with his newfound powers with the mouthful mode and also allows the player to get used to Kirby with his quick and easy tutorial in the beginning. The story is quite simple, where Kirby and his friends are captured and sucked into a new apocalyptic land. Kirby now explores to find and release his friends similar to other Kirby games. The visuals here are lush, bright, colorful, and vibrant. Kirby and his surroundings never look so good. The gameplay is vintage Kirby with a bit of platforming here and there, but the game's camera never lets you in control. Similar to Mario 3D Land, the camera never is truly against you, but also aids you in the direction you need to go to progress. Overall, although 3D in movement, it still feels like a Kirby game at its core. There is also a two-player co-op, is where it can be really fun and of course a bit too easy. I played the co-op mode with my son on the harder settings and had no problems mowing down the enemy and boss with virtually no trouble at all. This is where the biggest con is and it's with Kirby games being notoriously easy.
I can say, although easy, the game is fun, intuitive, and very addicting to see what new weapons, powers, to the mouthful modes that Kirby can do and how they affect different areas of the same level. Overall, another great game from Nintendo, and a must play for the Switch. I had a blast in both single player and co-op, so either bring a friend or not, you're going to have a blast with this one as a great addition to the Kirby lineage. That's it for me on this look at the demo for Kirby and a Forgotten Land. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.